Arizona's child drowning rate is often one of the highest in the nation. Children four years old and younger are in the highest risk group for drowning deaths. 13 on your side's Cody Lee joins us in studio with more on the safety precautions you can take to protect your children. Cody? Good evening, April. Thank you. Already this summer, there have been three child drownings in Yuma. A two-year-old and a three-year-old drowned in a backyard pool back in June and most recently another two-year-old passed away after drowning just this past week. As the summer pool season continues on, I speak with a local pediatrician that shares his expertise on preventing a tragedy like this. It only takes minutes, really seconds, uh, for a child to drown. Earlier this week, Yuma Fire Department was dispatched to another child drowning in Yuma County. A door and a doggy door both led into the backyard, something that is an easy outlet for toddlers. They just have such a dramatically high level of curiosity. They're drawn to water. They're drawn to doggy doors. They watch the dog go through or they just see, hey, that's my size, that's down at my level. I wonder what's on the other side. Dr. James Leiferman explains how this tragedy could play out. It's unanticipated access to water by a toddler. And of course, unanticipated means you weren't getting the floaties out or the life preserver or you weren't standing there like, okay, we're gonna go swimming. Although some pools have barriers, it might not always help with obstructing the body of water. So even if you have a fence around your pool, you should have a fence around your pool with a self-closing, self-latching gate. But oftentimes what we see is the gate didn't close properly. The pediatrician says reinforcement is key when watching your child around water. Reinforcing that I'm in charge of this life. There's a body of water at this home or wherever we are. These tragic cases where a child loses his life to drowning, they are accidents. They are not bad parents. They just got distracted. And so I guess that message always is don't be complacent. Don't get comfortable with your kid around water. So parents, here's what you need to know. It's the ABCs of drowning prevention. It's a few basic steps to reduce the risk. A, adult supervision. Children need constant responsibility. Undistracted adult supervision does, and a designate a water watcher who is responsible to watch the children. And B is for barriers. A barrier fence should be at least four to five feet. It should have a self-closing, self-latching gate that must be kept closed at all times. And door and pool alarms are also added security. And then C is for classes. So learn how to perform CPR and so you're prepared for an emergency. And it's also a good idea to enroll children in swim classes. Reporting in studio tonight, Cody Lee, 13 on your side, April. Thanks, Cody.